Life hacks have basically taken over the internet in the last decade or so. You've no doubt seen article after article with these tricks, so we decided to do the heavy lifting for you. We're going to break down the most helpful and actually easy to do life hacks we could find. Grab a pen, you're going to want to take notes. Use dryer sheets to freshen the air in your home. If you find a stale odor in your house, you can easily freshen it up with some basic household items. Dryer sheets. Try placing them on the back of a fan or tape some to the front of your air conditioner. The aroma will naturally spread throughout the room. It's perfect for when the weather makes it tough to keep the windows open. Velcro your remotes. If you find yourself ripping your couch apart every day looking for the remote, try gluing a piece of Velcro to the back of it and one to the side of your coffee table. Boom! Now you can hang the remote and you'll never lose it again. That is, if you remember to keep it Velcroed. Can't hurt though. Iron Hack If you're ironing a button-up shirt, you may decide to skip the strip with the buttons, but you don't have to. Try flipping the shirt over and ironing that part with the buttons facing down. Now you can iron your whole shirt. Also, try using a hair straightener to flatten the collar perfectly. Now you'll be ready to strut all around town. Garbage Can Hacks The kitchen garbage can get pretty gross. Think about it, all the food scraps and God knows what else going into that can every day. It's sure to get a little smelly from time to time. Luckily, there are a few very easy ways to combat this. Try lining the bottom of your can with newspaper. It will help absorb odors. You can also try placing a few drops of your favorite essential oil onto a cotton ball and then taping it to the inside of the can near the top. Koozie on the stick shift on a hot day. When it gets really hot outside, certain parts of your car might also get too hot to touch. If you drive a manual, try keeping a beer koozie over your stick shift to keep it from heating up. Now you can shift away without burning your hand. Pro tip, buckle your seatbelts when you get out of the car on those hot days. Next time you get in, the metal part of the seatbelt won't be scorching hot. Ketchup bottle for pancake mix. If you want to make those fun, fancy pancakes that look like cartoon characters, you've got to try this. Or if you just want to make regular pancakes and want to skip the ladle, try cleaning out an old ketchup bottle and refilling it with your pancake mix. Now you can squirt the mix directly into the pan and there's no mess. And the precision can help you make each pancake perfect. Just make sure to clean that bottle thoroughly before using it. No one wants ketchup flavored pancakes. Muffin tin for your condiments. The next time you have friends over for a barbecue, try serving the condiments in a muffin tin. This will help keep everything organized and cut down on cleanup. How to open a blister pack. You know how sometimes a pair of scissors comes in a blister pack which you need scissors to open? Nothing more irritating than that. Don't worry, use a can opener. Just clamp the can opener on the outside of the blister pack and turn the crank just like you would when opening a can. This is by far the easiest way to open those frustrating things. Use a carabiner to carry multiple grocery bags. If you live up a few flights of stairs, it can be really annoying to have to make a bunch of trips with your groceries. If they're in bags with handles and you have a spare carabiner, you're good. Just clip all of the handles together and carry your stuff by the clip. Don't worry, it won't be as heavy as you think. The clip helps center all of the weight so you won't be getting pulled every which way like you would if you carried them on your arms. Don't lie, we've all done that at least once and felt really silly afterwards. Seriously, this is a game changer. I wish I had thought of this when I lived in a third floor apartment. Frozen grapes to chill your wine. Wine not cold enough? Don't add ice, it'll melt and dilute your wine. Try using some frozen grapes instead. As they thaw, they will slowly lend an extra fruity kick to your drink, won't water it down, and it looks beautiful. Plus, you get a snack when you're done with your drink. That's a win-win if I ever heard one. Use toilet paper rolls to organize your cords. You turn 30 and suddenly you have a box full of cables and wires. Don't blame me, that's just what happens. Even if you have no idea what the cables go to, don't throw them out. You may actually need one at some point, and to keep everything organized, try lining your box with toilet paper rolls. Now you have perfect little cylinders to keep each and every wire separate, helpful and visually pleasing. Restore your furniture with a walnut. If the legs of your furniture have sustained a few dings and you can't buff them out, try using a walnut. 
just take the flat half and rub it gently over the damaged area. It sounds crazy, but it works. Give it a try and let us know how it goes. Seat Warmer This is a fun one. The next time you're bringing home a pizza or a bag of Chinese food, turn on the seat warmer. This will help keep your food hot until you get home. Plus, we like to think it also makes the food feel cozy and loved. Pro tip, use the seat belt to buckle in your Chinese food so if you have to stop quickly, your food won't go flying. Freeze your leftover coffee. If you have extra coffee, don't toss it. Try pouring it into an ice tray instead. Now you have coffee ice cubes for your next cup of iced coffee. As they melt, your drink will just get coffeeer and not waterier. Another great use for leftover coffee is to dilute it and water your plants with it. They'll love that boost of nitrogen. Use tongs to squeeze your lemons. If you don't have a tool for juicing a lemon, it can be hard to get all of the juice out by hand. There are a few things you can do to optimize that squeeze. First, roll your lemon on the counter a few times, pressing down gently. This will help release the juices. Then slice it in half and grab a pair of tongs. Squeezing the tongs is a lot easier than squeezing the actual fruit. Pro tip, squeeze your lemons face up. That way the juice will drip down the rind, collecting extra oils and flavor. Plus, you won't accidentally drop seeds into your juice. Use a vacuum and a stocking to find lost jewelry. If you find yourself frantically searching for a lost earring, a dropped pin, or some other small object on a carpet, try this. Take a stocking and cover the end of your vacuum attachment and slowly sweep the area. The stocking will prevent the missing item from being sucked up into the vacuum. Mess-free popsicle. Kids love popsicles in the summer, but they can be messy. Try using a muffin wrapper to catch the dripping juices. Now your kids can enjoy those frozen pops without getting sticky hands. DIY Ice Pack If you need an ice pack in a pinch, you can make your own at home. There are a few different ways to do it. Skip the bag of frozen peas and try this instead. Fill up a Ziploc bag about halfway with dish soap, then double bag it to prevent leaks. Put it in the freezer for an hour or so, and then you'll have a perfectly cold DIY ice pack that won't freeze solid. Now you can mold it around whatever body part you need to ice. Another way to do this is to place a damp sponge in a Ziploc bag and freeze it. This will create a malleable ice pack that won't melt or drip. Pants hanger to hold your cookbook. If you don't have enough counter space for your cookbook, don't worry. Grab a pants hanger and use the clips to secure the book open to the correct page. There's also a hook. Hang it from a cabinet handle and now you can easily read your recipe hands-free. Use a rubber band to keep a door from latching. If you want to keep a door from latching, but you want it to be able to close, perhaps for child safety, try this. Instead of taping the knob, which can leave behind sticky residue and can slip off, defeating the purpose, simply wrap a rubber band around the knob covering the bolt. This will also help muffle the sound of heavy doors if they close too hard. We love these little tricks. Which one was your favorite? We would love to hear all of your ideas for life hacks too. If you enjoyed this video, please leave us a like and subscribe to our channel so you never miss a new video. We would love to have you. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.